Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. I did an Arteza painting. I'm going to do another one. This one is, I'm using the 14 colors. They are the bigger pouches that are 4 ounces, just a hair over 4 ounces, like a regular tube of acrylic paint. This is a, um, a great brand. It's super thick, rich and creamy. It goes a long way. This is yellow ochre and lemon yellow. So here's my lemon yellow and this is the yellow ochre here. Then I have a little bit in a cup that is the scarlet red. I've got a bigger cup that is the crimson red. And I have a little cup of the deep it's called Bordeaux Red. Then this color here is a mixture of the lemon yellow, the yellow ochre, and burnt sienna to get this medium toned. It's a little deeper than that. And then I also have on the side some neonish pink and a light violet color that I have already. Some of it has silicone in it, some of it doesn't. All of it is mixed one to one with Oetrol Easy Flow, which is a European company. They have a website, oetrolusa.com, and they are on Amazon in my link below the video as well. There's also a special below the video. Uh, Arteza is doing a Christmas bundle. It, it may be over with, I'm not sure, but also there's a coupon Sandra Let 2 that gets you an extra 10% off if you were to go to their website and purchase their products through my link. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I am using Artist Loft Black and White Flow Acrylic. They're pre-mixed, one-to-one -one ratio, just like the other. Whoops. I don't need a lot. I just want to give my canvas a skim coat of the black. I really didn't even need this much paint, to be honest. Let's see if I can scoop some of this back into my container. I just really wanted a light coat. This is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I have push pins on the back side. I also like to take my paint and take it over the edges of my canvas because the black paint for Artist Loft is way darker than the black paint that's on the pre-packaged black canvas from Michaels. So I make sure to put my black paint on all the edges. And that just ensures that you have kind of a uniform black color everywhere. You can drop your canvas a few times if you want to. Blow on it if you need to or even use your heat gun for bubbles, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this just a little bit. You can still see that, I do believe. Let me figure out how to get this all in here. I might have to zoom out just a little bit more. There we go. So, I'm going to try to get this over to the edge. I'll tell you what. What we'll do is I'll put it back here. Scoot my tray over a little bit. So 
have a piece of cardboard that is covered with saran wrap. This is this over to the side. And what I'm going to do is a balloon smash. And I've not done a successful balloon smash yet. So here's my balloon that I have blown up. But I was watching someone on YouTube and I thought, well, let me try it again. So I'm going to make a puddle. And my paints are fairly thick. They're not super fluid. And I'm not trying to pour the puddle where there, the paint is evenly dispersed. I want it kind of in little sections. And I'm just trying this out. I have no idea if this will work or not. I'll use a little hot pink. Maybe a drip of yellow. And a, I'll do a drizzle of white. Okay? So we're going to try this and see what happens. So that didn't work as planned. It's pretty on the balloon though. Where's my paper towel? See, I kind of wonder if I have too much black paint on the she was working almost with a dry canvas. So I'm actually going to scrape off some black. So it literally is just a skim coat. I'm going to leave that the way it is and maybe drizzle a little bit more white. Maybe some golden color. We'll try this again. That worked a little better. I probably should not have put any black paint on the canvas at all. I don't even think she wiped her balloon off between dips. That's the funny part. So I'm just going to keep adding colors. And maybe the key is to not have silicone in your paints. Don't know. 
that maybe that would help with, you know, not getting cells. So you can vary the size by the amount of pressure you put on it. So if I really press down, I can do a big one. I'm learning that. This is fun. It's fun to do just to experiment and see what you can come up with. I've done the balloon smash with a smaller balloon and maybe that's why it wasn't as successful. I don't know. I don't want the black on the balloon. See, it's pretty on the balloon, but I don't want to print black down because then it won't show. Like I said, holding a slick balloon is a little bit diff difficult when it's wet or it has silicone too. So I can't blow anything. It's not going to move because the, the black is not wet enough. I was just curious on that one. I could re probably redo it, but I'm not going to. Just trying out something different. I had seen other people do beautiful ones. So I just thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot. So it just kind of looks like a floral festival. Um, let's just see what happens if you drag a skewer. Yeah, it's not wet enough. It's not wet enough to drag a skewer through it. So, it's, it is what it is. It's going to have to stay the way it is. So, I think we will call this one done. So, there it is. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below. There's a PayPal and Patreon link if you would like to donate anything towards supplies. There is my Facebook group if you'd like to come join me there so you can post your pictures of your projects and we can connect on a better level. And, you know, YouTube doesn't really give us a chance to get too close and personal. You can comment on videos, but other than that, it's pretty difficult to do anything to show pictures. So that's why I created the Facebook group, so you could check me out there. And there's a wonderful, supportive group of over 7,000 people in that. So come check it out, and 
check out the Amazon link below the video. It has some great recommendations in it. It doesn't cost you anything to, to buy through my link. It just gives me a small percentage, but it's the same Amazon price that you would have across the board. So I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.